uh, the awareness to really do something with the garbage, to really introduce the circular economy is very, very strong in Germany. And it's not only we, the machine builders, but it's also the processors and the producers of plastic. So there's a joint force in Germany. And um, you will see, it will come to K, and we have marvelous, marvelous products where we show recyclable products, products that can be recycled and that contain recycled materials. So these are processes that make it possible, and they, these are products that are a little bit different to what was in former times in the market. And I see Germany, let's say the, the northern part of Europe, in a pioneering situation. We, we are the pioneers, but um, with a K, we open up these informations and these results perfectly to the world. And um, it's not only that we talk to Germans, we also talk to Mexicans, uh, we talk to Brazilians, we talk to many people worldwide who start really to think about new products, products that are recyclable, that are different. For the time being, cost a little more, but uh, I'm very sure there will be a, a huge pressure, a huge pressure to change, to change the plastic world. It has to be, we have to change in a circular economy. Otherwise, plastic industry will harm dramatic, dramatically. If we have these quotas, what is my personal opinion? Then we give a tremendous pressure on the plastic industry. Then all the processors who produce plastic products, they have a tremendous need of good recycled material. And if there is a, a big demand, then the market will open and somebody will invest. Lots of people will invest to have this recycled material, to have a perfect sort technology. And the whole thing starts. But if we don't have the pressure, for example, a law pressure, that if you want to continue with plastics, you have to do this and this. Otherwise, you will be extremely fined and plastic products will be too expensive and then they are not com com uh, competitive to paper or glass. So uh, the plastic industry then has really to change. So uh, that's the reason why I said, and I had to say, I don't like state regulations, I, I hate laws, but uh, to really join the forces and get the pressure, we have, to, we have to have these quotas in laws to really get this change done.